It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It's a new dawn, a new day, a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Y'all feel good? trust in a world of light and lies and fear and phantoms who can make sense of the ways that people bow down the ways that truths bend and bones break and psyche shatter and the civilizations dissolve where do you find the harbors the sanctuaries the shelters the settled down territories of the soul where is your home home is where you bring all of you right Home is your meat, your bones, your beginnings, your belief, your gratitude, sorrow, and grief. It is your joy, your love, your laughter, your longing. You can bring it in any skin. You don't have to choose between being you and being loved. In any skin. Home is the headwaters. It is wherever and with whomever you find fire and meaning. Home is source. Home is the mothership. Home is where you go to cook your fear and the fire until it turns to magic. That's home. Home can be anywhere you decide to plant your roots. Everywhere you bring your presence. Anytime you speak your truth and say your name and remember your purpose and answer your calling and carve your space and shake your bones, that's home. It's the permanent address you don't leave because it lives in you as much as you live in it. Home is the creativity. It's the queerness. It's all the puzzle pieces, the potential we are given at birth, and the promise we create. Home is in any and every gender. It's in all the relationships that transform us. It's in the intricate and intersecting identities we claim and the various ways we give birth to ourselves time and time again. Home is where you're standing with the lovers, the warriors, the conjurers, the artists, the healers, the teachers, the rebels, the readers, and soldiers, and scholars, and brujas, and root workers, the keepers of tradition, the singers of the battle hymns, the griots, the breathing waters, the living fires, you are already home. Are you already home, Pride? Are you already home? You are already home. You beautiful and thick and radiant as the sun gorged on itself. You as confident and unapologetic, unapologetic as sweet fruit drunk on its own juice. You, the traveler, the journey itself, following the trail that leads to understanding. You, the strange wind, howling through all the streets and all the hoods and all the mansions of heaven, you are already home. You are already home. You are already home. So welcome home. There right? are people who have been killed. There are people who have been shot down, who have been persecuted for being who they are, for living in their skin, for speaking their truth. So I'm very well aware that as I stand here today, I'm standing here as a voice for Philando Castile. I'm standing here as a voice for Sandra Bland. I'm standing here as a voice for all of those who are not here, right? And when I think about those people who are not here who should be here, it makes me, um, Think about who gets who gets to be themselves, who gets to explode, right? So who gets to explode? Is it the bullets? Is it the black girl trying to get home? Is it the officer? Is it a building? Is it a girl running from predators disguised as family? Who gets to explode? Who gets to riot? Who gets to rebel? Who with a chest full of anguish? and a heart gorged with fire is given license to scream, to break, to howl. Who gets to live? Who gets to 
die? Who has to die? Because all I know is that if, as a girl, me and all my friends were consumed with protecting our black and brown bodies. We were consumed with protecting ourselves, having our meat and our minds and our bones and our hope protected. We were afraid of being swallowed up by a hollowed out ghetto. We hunched down low, folded in on ourselves, try not to be seen, try not to be skinned. All I want to know is who gets to have freedom? Who gets to be liberation? Who gets to be the North Star? Did my granny get liberation? As she stood in the prayer circle with all the other grannies, stacking their amens and Bible scriptures on top of one another, trying to build not Jacob's ladder, but Tyrone's ladder, Shakita's ladder, up from the holy hell of the hood to an elusive heaven, who gets to shake? Who gets to cry? Who gets to climb up that ladder? To not only get out, but go up. Cause I look around Detroit, I look around Chicago, I look around Flint and Compton and Atlanta and DC, and I see all these black and brown bodies contorting, conjuring up their own psychics, trying to lift the density of their lives onto the clouds loud so they can be heard, quiet so they can be safe, living to create a continuum. These black and brown babies were born into a story that was already being told. We are told we are not allowed to explode. Even when we're standing still, they fear us. See our existence as a threat. They tell us that we must submit or forgive or pretend to love our persecution, be grateful for our erasure, exhibit infinite patience. They tell us we must always, always wait and smile and wait and smile and wait and smile, but you can't tell that to a girl whose belly is full of revolution. With blood that remembers Amistad and Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth remembers Haiti and stands in solidarity with everyone who said enough is enough. And so I explode. I explode like the Chicago race riots of 1919, like the Tulsa race riots of 1921, like Birmingham in 63, like Watts in 65, like Detroit 67, like Miami 1980, like Stonewall, like LA 92 and Baltimore and Fergus in 2015. I explode, I resist, I kick, I scream, I shake, I dance and howl and call out and shut shit down. With my voice, with my black body, with my skin, and my hair, and my broad nose, and big lips, and with my music, and my hips, and my gifts, and my songs, and thoughts, and magic, and my miss mission, and my ancestors. White supremacy will never have me. Ra racism will never have me. Sexism, homophobia, classism, ableism, Islamophobia, and xenophobia, police brutality, gentrification will never have me. Never have me because I stand here and I explode. And I get early. We try to exist in this world. There's so many of us, so many communities, so many people that need healing. Right? And so this next piece is about that healing. How do we heal? How do we take what we've been given um, and make something of it? My life, I kept looking at it, running my finger up and down and all around the broken, misaligned parts, wondering why it hurts so much, wondering how we heal. Then a voice that I always carried inside me but never heard before, never met before, said you don't heal unless you turn the why into the yes. So let that why did this happen to me become the yes that happened to me. So what's next? Now what? Turn that why does this hurt into yes, this hurts. Now what? Turn every why into a yes. Therein lies the peace. Therein lies the power. All the
this time you thought wounds came to break you, but a wound comes to awake, to transform. A wound is a master teacher giving you the lessons you refuse to learn again and again. Until you finally understand that making magic means learning to turn everything, everything, even pain, especially pain into a friend. How do you grow stronger in yourself, taller in your knowing? How do you stand without crumbling, or cry without corroding, or love without careening, without the pain of being polished? Without being willing to be tempered and forged in the fire? First the pain, then the power. First the heart breaks and then the heart soars. James Baldwin said the things that heal us, cannot be separated from the things that hurt us. So know that when you fall, when you break, you will still know your own song. The song that when you sing it, puts you back together again. But in some newer, higher, and more potent arrangement, you are here. You have made it. Thank your pain for that, right? The power in standing on your own. It's an ode to Beyonce and single ladies. Beyonce fans, any of y'all? Cause I know I'm not in the right place if it ain't no Beyonce fans in here. All right, I heard a few, all right. <laughs> all right. A man was confused when he asked this woman why she was always single. He wondered, and I wondered, how he could look at her and see one, see single. This woman comprised of a few billion cells a few billion ways of being and loving and seeing this woman has never been single. Look at all the parts of her that cleave to one another. Look at the chains, how her cells become tissues, become organs, become body, become minutes and memories and hours and understanding. How her, her body becomes days and devotion and years and lifetimes. This woman is not single. She is church and fellowship within herself. She is a full congregation, a nation of one, a conversation fat with endless topics. She ain't single. She has layers so dense and nuanced she could hide in them if she wanted and no one would ever find her. There is no such thing as a single woman. Because woman, by definition, is already a multitude. Remember, sister. Remember you. Don't let them call you what you are not. Don't let them make you an accessory to crimes against yourself. Don't let them rearrange your existence or spell your name without, with some scrambled and thirsty alphabet. Don't let their words set up colonies in your mouth. Don't let their definitions of who you should be take root in your wild, feral heart. Own yourself. Own every place you step in. Let them come back to the box in the corner that they tried to stuff you in only to find you gone. Only to find the shackles that you chewed through, discarded, left behind. Let them be threatened by you. Let them be threatened by you. By the lion-hearted woman who loves herself in a world who tells her she has to be smarter. Or prettier. Or wealthier. Or whiter. Or straighter before she can be free. That is a lie. You are not single. You are big and a beautiful bowl full of the food that feed and nourishes every person and every situation around you. You are not single. You're not anyone's lack of imagination or limited vocabulary or narrow life or experiences. You are not anybody's fears or raging insecurities. You are not the abuse or the sexism, or the patriarchy. You are not the economic disparity, or the sex trafficking, or the disenfranchisement. You are not rape culture, or honor killings, or glass ceilings. You are not pay inequity, or double standard. You are not domestic violence, or slut shaming. You are not oppression, or shrunken violence. Some days you are wolf. Some days you are riot. But you have never been single. And once you know it, like I know it, you will set this world on fire. All right? You are gradual and intentional. Like the soaking in of understanding, like persuasion seeping in my bones. Lucky for me, you know your way around the guarded heart. 
You took the long way to me, quietly, deliberately. You came turning all my hours into music, speaking to me in genuine gold. You came loving me in cursive. You came to retrieve the wild fragments in me. You aren't afraid to step into the cordoned off places of who I am. We both know that love stirs up ancient hurt, chases out the ghost that stands between us and being whole, whole, stands between us and being healed. I know that I'm a jungle, a thick tangle of emotional triggers that you have made it your mission to work through because you know that love grows beneath in between. You know that love exposes the trauma and the treasure. Love braids all of that together. <laughs> hey, bone and blood and tomorrow. Love names the demons, loves them back right. Your love makes me holy. It makes me bristling and primal and iridescent and free just the way my God intended me to be. Dudes criticized by people who can never walk in your shoes. They don't know what it's like to do what you gotta do to black magic city women who strip to pay for school. I understand the struggle. Others, they choose to judge you. But hold your head and understand that no one is above you. A beautiful energy comes with femininity. I speak these words to silly sisters. Hope that you're hearing me to my gorilla mamas. We lies is full of drama To girls more interrupted than a sentence full of commas It's common knowledge We the revolution's fire starters Every tear we cry is a drop of pure holy water To all maternal martyrs who teach the native daughters It's time to storm the borders of this social order From Ghana to ATL Goddesses we prevail From the CEO sisters to the ones locked in jail Yeah, yeah, yeah what if I said Rakia? What if I said Ayana, Renisha, Sandra Bland, all the sisters who got slaughtered? What if bring back our daughters? Was more than just a hashtag at schools taught these kids how Osada got the last laugh. Made of brass tacks, sisters carry the world on our backs. All facts with that black that don't crack, truth that don't fold, shine that can't diminish, unbossed, unbossed, unsold, like Shirley, like Shirley Chisel.